Hi Taurus, welcome to your November monthly reading. I'll begin right away with a general tarot, then I'll clarify that reading with another deck. I'll finish off the video for you with an oracle card or two. All right, let's see your current energy for November. Moving into December for Taurus. My earth signs, wow, three of wands. So you're feeling this fire energy. You're waiting for opportunities to come in, yet you're being actually quite patient while you're waiting for this. You feel like something is coming in. You're feeling the fire, but it's not quite there yet. It's almost in a resting phase before the action really starts to come in. And then the Nine of Cups with that. So you're waiting for your wish, your wish fulfillment to come in. You're waiting for your wishes to come in. But it's good to have patience in this process. That could be part of the lesson for this month and then into December. Ace of Pentacles. So whatever it is that you're waiting for is going to be successful in the material world. That's a really good confirmation. I like it with the Nine of Cups too. Oh, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Ooh, Seven of Swords. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm focused on the Seven of Swords because that vibe is always throws me off a little bit. This is with your past or outside influence. This happened with the Leo reading. It was an ace to the ten, so it's a first full circle situation. You're seeing how you planted these roots long, long ago, and then it's coming full circle in your material world. Yet you're feeling like you want more fire, more passion in your life. You already have the coins that you want. You already have all the material things that you want. And now it's time to bring back that fire and this emotional situation, or not a situation, emotional fulfillment, emotional wishes. Seven of Swords that was throwing me off is the block and the lesson. I feel like this is not... You don't want to run away from your shadow. It's about facing your shadow side. Even if you do have to move away and do your own thing for a little bit, little while, that is not a problem. I'm gonna pull one more card because I feel like there's more to that story. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Taurus. For November. Six of Pentacles. You felt like there was unbalance within possibly this ten of pentacles relationship that was going on and you felt you had to move away or vice versa your person had to move away i don't feel like it's permanent though it's about finding balance and then possibly coming back together because you're waiting with the three of wands to come back I feel like it's about waiting. Okay, let's keep going. How does your person or situation feel about you, the chariot? So they want to move towards you or you are thinking about moving towards them. If this is a love reading for you. All right, let's clarify the chariot and the hermit. So they're seeing you as going within right now. This is not really a time for coming together because you are trying to find that balance with the Six of Pentacles. Either you walked away with the Seven of Swords or they did because you really had to take care of yourself and it might have seemed, it wasn't sneaky. It wasn't a sneaky vibe, the Seven of Swords. It was more, maybe you were planning to do it without their knowledge. So it was almost, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It was like a shock, yeah. Ace of Cups is intentions for this month. So going back to your heart space, starting the cycle over, if it's with the same person. If not, it's about following your own heart and your own desires this time. Because you've already gone within, you're not afraid to go within with the hermit. And it's about rethinking this Ten of Pentacles here. So that totally makes sense now. Okay, let's clarify the Ace of Cups for intentions. 
Page of Pentacles. Yeah, starting your own thing. This is about becoming more independent and planting new baby roots with the page here. And I like it above the Nine of Cups. It's about planting roots that have more to do with your own wishes that are more aligned with who you are. And that will bring you the balance that you're looking for here with the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Swords flies up for a message from the universe. It could be a good time to move towards brighter horizons because it's above the Seven of Swords. It's about movement, moving that air energy up, getting out of the negative behaviors too. That the lower, this lower energy can bring sometimes. And one more message from the universe for Taurus. Clarify the Six of Swords. Two of Pentacles. So finding that balance again. It's above the Six of Pentacles. That's hilarious. Well, it's not hilarious. It's just a uh, clarification that this is such a focus and a lesson for you. Or it can be if you want it to be. And then that will bring you more opportunities and more fire here with the three of wands and will bring your ultimate wish fulfillment with the nine of cups once you bring in this balance here. Okay, let's clarify the chariot and the hermit. If this is a love reading for you with the sun and moon tarot. Let's see for Taurus. Ooh, Ten of Cups. I love that. So that is such a nice clarification that your person sees you as something worth waiting for here because I do feel this this energy of waiting here with the Three of Wands. Either you're waiting or they're waiting. Because one of you or both of you are in Hermit mode. But it will ultimately bring you the Ten of Cups. And if it's not a love reading for you, it's definitely going to be coming in. <laughs> as much as you want to be the Hermit, the Ten of Cups is flying up above you. So <laughs> it's happening. Especially beside the Ace of Cups. That's actually a really good sign here. The Ten of Cups with the Ace of Cups. And then the Ace of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. It's a really nice full circle twice moment. Okay. So Eight of Swords and Eight of Wands. Clarifying the blocks for you. So there is a lot of fire coming in. And you're blocking it with your own mental energy. Your own mental anguish with the Eight of Swords. So knowing that finding balance, it's good though because you're finding that balance with the Six going to the Seven to the Eight of Swords. So that energy is moving up in a way, I'm feeling. And then this Eight of Wands is coming in with the fire, which feels really good with the Three of Wands. And then just with the actual fire that I started tonight. <laughs> and the Chariot on the bottom again so that's good movement is happening will be happening for you or for your person if it's all everything for you okay oracle card for Taurus. duality many meanings misunderstanding wow number 36 wow this really speaks to me about how one of you had to walk away so there was possibly this misunderstanding and then coming back together once you find the balance because there's so many there are these many meanings here again and every person's reality is right for them interesting okay one more card to clarify for Taurus to wrap up the reading for November. Number 37, <clears throat> excuse me, consult your body's wisdom. Wow, 36 to 37 in numbers, I like that. So moving forward, always consult your own body. Your body is your temple. It will always tell you what is going on if you're willing to listen. So that's a really great message. 
And also consult your body when you're finding this balance because when you are out of balance, your body will tell you right away that you're going in the wrong direction and how to come back to that state where you can bring in this nine of cups, moving into the 10 of cups over here. All right, Taurus, I really enjoyed this reading. I hope you found some clarity from this one. Enjoy the rest of November. Hope to see you for the December monthlies. Bye for now.